What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators on a superhero hat bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja channel. This time we are going over another sword combination because you guys have been asking for sword non-stop. And so let's get right into it. This time we're gonna be going over a more effective combat for dummies episode today where we take our sword and do a more effective technique over kind of the trick that we did last time we did sword on this series so we're gonna take the sword and it requires a sheath to be strapped to your hip now mine is not gonna be strapped to my hip mine's gonna be at my side but that doesn't matter because it's the same effect really um, so let's get into it. So what we're gonna do is gonna be starting on my left hip because I am right-handed and I like drawing my sword with my right hand. Did I say that wrong? No, I didn't. I said I'm, I was left-handed, but I'm not. I'm right-handed and I like drawing my sword with my right hand. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have my hand at the top of my sword so I'm ready to put my sword back when I need to. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to imagine, right now this is the situation, somebody comes up too close and is kind of stepping up in your business. He, they might have a knife, they might have um, a, a blunt object, whatever it is, they're in your face yelling at you, it's the fight's going down, right? They, they swing, they remember, you never start fights, but if they swing, the fight has started and you finish the fight. So what we're gonna do is, again, warning, this is a sword, swords kill people, so uh, be careful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a, uh, a hilt hit to the solar plexus. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right hand on top of the sword just like this and you're gonna make sure the blade's facing down on the sword and you're gonna step out with your right leg and hit just like this. One more time, you're gonna look at this, you're gonna step out with your right leg, it's right hand on sword and bang, just like that. I'll do it towards you, bang. Just like a hitting with the solar plexus to the solar plex, with the end of the sword to the solar plex on your opponent. Now, once you do that, you're going to step back with that same right leg and you're going to swipe up and across the body, cutting open the chest up here. You don't want to go for the belly because that is a, a direct kill shot. Cutting open the stomach can often lead to death. So go for cutting up their chest instead. One more time, you're going to step forward. Hit just like that. You're gonna step back across the chest, and then once you're done, you're going to put the sword back just like that. Now, all putting the sword back takes practice, and if you want to know more about that, I did a video with my boy Lee. You can check out that video if you haven't already. But one more time, all the way through. That is what we're gonna be doing today. That is the end of the video. I know this was a short one. It's pretty simple for you guys that are just getting into sword and wanna learn more. Oh, what's up, Jazz? My dog's right there. So for you guys that are wanting to learn more advanced stuff, definitely check out the last video we did. It was a trick that gives you that sword play element where you catch it behind your head. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. Definitely hit that like button if you liked it or if you have a comment or question, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and you know what's next. I'm out.